Well, the funny part is I used to dress really bad for weddings. I would think that weddings all about me and try to go out there and outshine everyone, you know what I mean? I remember I went to a wedding. It was my wife's best friend's wedding. I was wearing this pinstripe suit. It was a linen pinstripe suit, white shirt, orange tie, and some light brown shoes. I look back at those pictures and cringe now, you know what I mean? This is a video I've been wanting to make way before I started YouTube. I was like, if I ever get to start a YouTube, one of the first videos I want to make is how to dress for a wedding as a guest. Because when I go to weddings, I see guys wearing all sorts of crazy stuff. And I'm like, that's not really the way it's supposed to be, you know what I mean? Because you're going to somebody else's wedding, you know? People are looking at me like I'm talking to myself, not knowing that I'm talking to you, you know what I mean? I don't know who they think I am. I have about 300 subscribers on YouTube, man. Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Richet from ChaseAndRider.com and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the best way to dress for a wedding. Now, before we get any deeper, I'm talking about like a formal wedding. I'm not talking about a wedding that's on the beach or one of those type of weddings, you know? I'm talking about like a formal wedding, not exactly a black tie affair where you have to wear a tuxedo, but like a regular formal wedding. Right. And one thing that guys always get confused when I tell them that at a wedding they should try to blend in They're like, oh, I'm not supposed to look my best for a wedding You're always supposed to look your best, but you also try to be able to fit in It's not your wedding, it's the bride and the groom's wedding So your job is to try to fit in Now trying to fit in doesn't mean that you have to look bad But there are certain guidelines, certain rules that you have to follow to make sure you're not trying to outshine the groom. It's really simple. Personally, I never go to a wedding thinking that I gotta be the best dressed at the wedding. You know what I mean? That's never really in my train of thought. But I know a lot of guys go to weddings and that's what they think about. And I feel like that's wrong. You're going to somebody else's wedding. When it's your wedding, you can pretty much wear whatever you want. But when it's somebody else's wedding, there are certain guidelines that you have to follow. So we're gonna break it down into numbers. Rule number one, your suit should be a solid suit. It's not the time to be wearing pinstripes and window pane and glen clad and all sorts of patterns like that. Once again, the idea Ideas for you to fit in you're really not trying to stand out number two the shirt should be white personally I love blue shirts more than I do white shirts but weddings is one of those occasions where I always wear a white shirt so just make sure that the shirt is white make sure that the shirt is clean that's number two number three always wear a tie personally I always wear what's called a wedding tie a wedding tie come in a couple different patterns it could be a Prince of Wales it could be a house tooth like the one that I'm wearing right now if you don't have a wedding tie then I would stick to a solid tie like I've had weddings in the past where I would wear some crazy ties trying to stand out once again the idea is not to stand out I've done it before so I'm speaking from experience you know what I'm saying so either wear a wedding tie or wear a solid tie preferably like a grenadine tie or something like that number four always always wear black shoes like I see guys wearing dark suits and light brown shoes to people's weddings black shoes don't bring as much attention to itself as brown shoes the last thing you want is to be at somebody's wedding wearing light brown shoes now, as far as accessories when it comes to your socks I wouldn't really wear anything too crazy I would keep the socks dark like right now I'm wearing some dark burgundy socks pocket square I keep the pocket square white if you see my video about pocket squares you know I prefer this colorful pocket squares but a wedding is one of those occasions when you want to keep the pocket square white you know what I mean and last but not least man just make sure your clothes is pressed you're not looking all wrinkled looking crazy it's really not that complicated you want to look good but you don't want to try to stand out too much because once again it's not your wedding so that was my video on how to dress for a wedding as a guest hit the thumbs up if you like this video subscribe or everybody gonna think that you're a hater and I'll catch you in the next video peace